guys, so today it's our last day of our Scrivener tutorial series. Not that I don't intend to do, you know, more videos about Scrivener and if you, you know, want to know something specific, of course, I may do another video to uh, answer those questions. But for now, these are the ones that I pre-recorded. Anyway, today I'm gonna show you some cool features. Basically, we're gonna go back to the outliner and we're gonna see those things over here. So first thing I wanna show you, uh, document references, I have no idea what this is for. I suppose you put like websites that you use as a reference for that specific scene or chapter. I don't know, I don't use this. I do use the keywords though. Um, and I normally use them for characters, but honestly, you can put whatever you want over here. I find them useful for characters because, for instance, if Amy's character arc is not really working and I want to revise Amy's scene, so this helps me create track of all the scenes that she shows in. Um, so, for instance, I'm just going to come here, add keyword. So, for instance, if I want to search for Amy, I come over here, I write Amy, and I say that I want to know just the keywords. Uh, so, it's going to show me all the scenes where Amy, you know, is associated with. And that can be quite useful. Um, so, anyway, that's what keywords are for. And you can also put them in the outliner. Um, for instance, you can come over here and put... Uh, keywords, so it's going to show you uh, in this case the characters, but again, you can use whatever you want to use. Oh, it's keywords, I want to show you all the custom metadata. For instance, um, I'm going to give you the five metadata fields. So, for a specific book of mine, I remember that I need to have a mood for each scene because I want to cover all the stages of grief. I want you to know uh, if that scene, what stage of grief the character was experiencing. I put here mood, for instance, and um, what I do is let's put, I don't know, denial. And so scene A, she's in denial. Scene B, it's anger. So, and you can also see that in the outliner. If you want to come here and put mood, um, it's going to show. This is according to your specific project. And now I'm going to talk about one of my favorite features. And I find that a lot of people don't <laughs> use this. Is uh, the snapshots. So here's what I'm going to do. You just come here and you click this add button. And um, it's going to take a snapshot. It already shows how cute. First draft. So if I change this document, um, and it's important to say that Scrivener uh, automatically saves everything. So I at least never had problems with it and I have been using it for four years. Anyway, then you want to, for instance, call this, I don't know, second draft. And the cool thing here is that you can compare. For instance, I want to compare my current document with the first draft and it's going to show me um, the differences between the two documents. If I'm being quite honest, Scrivener doesn't do an amazing job comparing documents. Word does a much better job at this. But I still find snapshots quite useful because I want to keep track of all my versions. And there's something else you can do here. You can use the, you can split your screen into two vertically or horizontally, whatever you prefer. And what I like to do is that I have, for instance, the first draft over here, I just drag it over here um, so I can compare. I can compare the, my current version with a previous version. Uh, this is quite useful. You can also, you know, you can put in here uh, whatever scene you want. Uh, if you, for instance, I'm writing scene C, but I want to have as a reference scene A, you can do this as well. Um, the split screen is quite useful too. So, um, and then you come here, no split, it's gonna, you know, come back to normal. Other than that, let's check the comments. So the comments, again, pretty simple. You just select whatever text you want and you just 
put your comment. Uh, the quick way to do it is is you hit I think comment shift eight yes and a new comment and something else that I want to show you all just so you can have some fun is that you can use templates and they are over here template sheets um, and you just um, create a new one for instance like my um, character template and uh, and I'm just gonna copy it because I'm not that creative oh, Z <laughs> copy it um, and but instead of notes I'll put the character want what the character wants um, and I'm gonna put what he needs what he needs this is things that I actually use um, so if I can hear in this folder and I want like new new from template my character template uh, is gonna come with this and then I can fill this with whatever I want um, and another thing that you can do you can add images um, so what you do you come here add existing files and I downloaded a couple of images um, to make this easy so I have this girl over here uh, here's the image so I can come here and I can do something um, real nice come on uh, and put the girls whoops the girls picture here it's huge so uh, <laughs> scale image a little less like a lot less thank you um, and you can put it here and you can select it and make sure it's in the center like this it looks nice uh, and you can also another thing that you can do that I find quite fun is that you can come here and instead of having a synopsis you can have an image and then you can just drag the image over here um, this is quite useful when you have a character uh, sheet um, and uh, another thing that you can do that I find quite useful um, I create folders for instance I use the darlings folder and uh, in the darlings folders I change the icon what is it change icon here it is and I like the blackboard for this one and in my darlings I normally create a text for like each one of my characters um, and like if there's a sentence that I really really like but really it's not you know it's not happening the scene move forward it's not doing much for me it's just hanging there and i need to delete it i just put it over here so i don't feel so bad about it you know it's not deleted from the universe it's just temporarily in this other folder i also like to do a a folder uh for pitching um and i also change the icon over here and for this one i like to have the speech bubble and here is what i like to put like my query my synopsis my bio uh the agents that i intend to query this kind of for business related stuff but of course you can use this for whatever you want and it just goes to show you how flexible scrivener is and why people use it in different ways because you have so many different features that really i think regardless of your writing process uh, Scrivener will take care of all your needs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series. And if you did, please hit the like button here below. Please subscribe, put your comments in the comment section, and please give me suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!